Hi guys, hi my people, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, to another sit down video. I've been vlogging so much, I've forgotten what it feels like to do a sit down video. You're most welcome if you're new here, please subscribe down below, join the community for travel and lifestyle videos. Sometimes I do sit down videos when I meet interesting people, like I've met Alan here in Abu Dhabi. We are still in Abu Dhabi. You're yeah. most welcome, Alan. Thank you, thank you. You must welcome to the channel, please tell my viewers all about you. Hey guys, I'm Alan Quero, the artist behind Quero Art Gallery. And this is an amazing moment for me to meet mm -hmm. and discuss my passion and art mm -hmm. story life with the uh, nerves today. Thank you. Guys, if you see in the background, we are literally seated in the art gallery. Yeah. Like you just keep staring because of all the beautiful things here. Um, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. Should I start by asking the inspiration behind different pieces? Should I start by asking when you realize that you're into art? Did yeah. you study it? Yeah, I studied art. Uh, but basically art has been talent. It has been my talent. Mm -hmm. like from childhood, as I was growing up, I used to draw. I started with cartoons, mm -hmm. movie scenes, so I kept on drawing and drawing in mm -hmm. school. So I kept on uh, progressing in high school. Then in university, I also did art. That's industrial fine art from uh, Mukono, UCU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did industrial fine art. Oh. Yeah, so I have a bachelor's degree in industrial art and design. Do you know how lucky you are that you discovered what you are into at a young age and you even pursued it at university? Yeah. Most people don't get that. Yeah, it has been my passion. Like, uh, and having a gallery has been like a dream to me. Wow. Yeah. And you don't have a gallery anyway, guys. <laughs> gallery is in Abu In case I did not mention well, the gallery <clears throat> is in Abu Dhabi. Wow. So, um, I want to find out. Are you Ugandan? Yeah, I'm Ugandan. I was not so sure. Um, <laughs> so if he's Ugandan, he could have set up this thing in Uganda. I mean, it's much easier to put up businesses in your own country. Yeah, absolutely. But he set up a whole business in a foreign country. And I felt like the moment I got to know that, I got so interested. I felt like you are so courageous and you, you're someone who's so goal-oriented. Goal because yeah. I don't think it's easy to set up a whole new thing in a foreign country. Yeah. So first of all, was it easy for you to do this whole thing? Was it a dream you had for years and worked, worked on it or was it something that came by luck? Yeah, um, just as we say, it has been my dream to have an art gallery. To me personally, I didn't see it coming that I would have an art gallery in a foreign land. I didn't see that coming. All this time when I graduated from uh, university, I kept doing several kinds of work, mm -hmm. employment, here and there. I may not mention them all, but mm -hmm. My goal was that one day, whatever it takes, I will have to have an art gallery. Mm -hmm. But I did not see it coming that I would have it here in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. So even when I moved here in Abu Dhabi, I did other works mm -hmm. here and there. But when the COVID-19 broke in, the pandemic came in, mm -hmm. sometimes they say problems or opportunities. Yeah, 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 problems yeah. Opportunities. So it is struck us so hard that we got laid off work, not only me, but so many Mm -hmm. uh, guys or many employees around and that alone took me back into thinking mm -hmm. and felt like why should I keep being employed yet I can sit down and I have a talent mm -hmm. why don't I invest in my talent mm -hmm. so it was like a calling from God to me I felt it was a yeah. calling from God yeah. like why do you keep because I would I'm a kind of guy who would get employed I get a job like a uh, I work less than two years, either I get a promotion or I leave. Because oh. I was always growing. Looking for the yeah, next looking state. for the next. I was not mm. like also comfortable, comfortable mm -hmm. wherever I am. You could be getting more salary, yes, but mm -hmm. there's no comfort. Like, I enjoy the salary more bit of it, mm -hmm. but I'm not content. I'm not happy. Like, yeah. I didn't find or feel myself. Mm -hmm. But that was something that like would make me feel at home. So I felt this was the right moment. I'm not thinking twice, I'm not looking back. Oh I'm going for it. So, when you decided, did you have any pieces or did you draw your first piece? 
is around the time that you started, that you decided that you want to do your own thing? Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. So when I started, I used to start, I used to draw from home. Like when I go to work, I come back or over the weekend, I draw, I had a sketchbook, I sketch around, I paint, mm -hmm. then maybe give out as gifts to my friends or, wow. or sell them to some of my workmates. Mm -hmm. So basically I started painting from home. So when I kept on painting, I saw that the, 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 the paintings are increasing in the room mm -hmm. and I have nowhere to put them. them. And we in a lockdown during that time, mm -hmm. during the COVID, I thought so much and I'm like, no, I need to find a place, I need to set this up. It's either now or never. Mm -hmm. So, you did it. I did it. You, so you already had many paintings? Yeah, I had paintings with me. Do, are, we, are we lucky enough to see one of the paintings you did back then or are they all sold? The ones I did back then are all sold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> they are not there, really. That's they are not there. Those thing. that I started with are not there now. That's a good thing. I mean, People are buying. Yeah, people That's are buying. What you want to see. <laughs> so, inspiration. How do you get inspiration? Do you see things and draw them after seeing them? Do you imagine and draw from scratch? Yeah, uh, it it applies both ways. Uh, some of them I imagine imaginated. Like uh, I try to like to compose something through imagination. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a situation or scenario that has occurred. Uh, but basically, I look at uh, you know being a Ugandan, mm -hmm. in that African setting. There is a lot of things like inspirations mm -hmm. to paint. Yeah. Being raised by a single mother, that's why you see a lot of my paintings are women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? They're also captivating. And it's captivating like, and all that. Yeah. So there's that attachment I had, like being raised by a single mother. Mm -hmm. I feel that connection, uh, the interesting bit of how my mom raised me, all she did, how, how strong and how hardworking the women in Uganda are. Uh, yeah. That really inspires me, well, that's why you see I have a lot of ladies around doing various activities. Um, like I would like to say something yeah. that you drew, that you imagined from scratch yeah. and drew. That I imagined from scratch? Yeah, from scratch. I will talk about this, yeah. basically this. Uh, is based on a life, a life story. I call this long distance relationship. Really? Yeah. Where I have a guy and a lady. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this painting, I know how. Maybe we shall get time and zoom in properly. Mm -hmm. The other guy is in the urban setting. Yeah. Like he left Africa. Mm -hmm. This is Africa. Yeah. He left Africa to go look for greener pastures and support the family. Mm -hmm. But due to the distance between the two of them, their love, which you see the shape of mm -hmm. the heart, mm -hmm. is kind of staggering or not really intact. Mm -hmm. But there is always a bond that children always try to bring them together. Oh, yeah. yeah, And uh, that's why we have this setting of uh, the, the heart again, in between, mm -hmm. behind the children. And we have and pots. Yeah, mm -hmm. We have pots. Why? The pots represent the delicacy of, uh, of our relationship. You know, however, however maybe strong or however the distance is, you should always hold your relationship like a pot. Mm -hmm. You know, in the African setting, they say they say a pot could break by the door. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if you don't hold it with a lot of care, yeah. it could break by the door. So, in a relationship, when you're in a relationship, you have to really, really hold, hold that relationship with care. Whatever differences, you have to sort them out. Mm -hmm. And children will always play a big role in mm -hmm. bringing the families together, despite of the distance. Wow. Yeah. So, yes. I love the fact that there is an actual story. Yeah. When I first saw it, I realized that this was the urban center. Yeah, this was like yeah. a village. Yeah. And I realized this is a woman, but I not yet even noticed that this is a man. Yeah. And but when you describe it and put it, yeah. Wow. Then also we have uh, this other painting made by this one. I could bring it down for our to see. I don't know that we'll see proper, yeah? You can show me, I'll zoom in after. Yeah, this is just uh, about, uh, I was trying to talk about the COVID situation and what mothers are going through. Mm -hmm. You know, during the COVID situation, you find that uh, there were very many positive cases and all that, but mothers always did whatever they could to provide, mm -hmm. you know? She has to put on a mask, 
to stay safe, she's expectant, but the kid here is expecting food from the mother. Yeah. So she has to do whatever she can. She may not even have to respect the social distance that was uh, mandatory. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So she's trying to back off the head, like mm -hmm. step back, but the kid is demanding. Yeah. yeah? And here, the same thing, she still mm -hmm. has to feed the little one. Mm -hmm. And the other little girl may not understand the whole aspect of COVID and social yeah. design. She's calling alone or coming, trying to play with the little one. Yeah. So it's just uh, basically that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. These are so beautiful. Thank you. And I love how there are stories to, stories to them. And they are so colorful. Thank I love color. I think when that paint in like the most neutral colors, yeah. but you love color. Yeah. Like you guys heard, he has an art gallery. It's now a business and businesses need to be supported. Yeah. So do you only sell to people in the UAE? Or can you sell, can someone in Uganda buy? Or can actually people in other countries buy? Because our viewers from many other countries. Can they buy yeah, yeah. ship to them? Yeah, we, we do sell uh, to all parts of the world, whoever is interested. Mm -hmm. uh, we have clients from the US. Yeah, we have clients from the US that mm -hmm. uh, we also ship to, yeah, to the US, mm -hmm. to whatever part of the world for whoever yeah. is interested. <laughs> no excuse guys. <laughs> they they ship to you wherever you are. Yeah. Um how how much time do you take to, to complete one paint? Uh, so the paintings are really uh, they depend on the theme and the topic. Mm -hmm. uh, like this painting, it's about the big five in Africa. And uh basically I was looking at Uganda and the tourism industry in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have the big five animals in Africa, mm -hmm. yeah? So this is to promote tourism. Yeah. This painting, I have to sit down and look at the colors I want to use. Mm -hmm. yeah? So when I come up with an idea and I'm like, okay, I want to paint a big, big five, mm -hmm. which colors do I want to use? This will take more time than doing an abstract painting. Why? Because it has the details. I have to bring out the lion, to look, to like, look a like a real lion. Oh, yeah, it has okay? to be realistic. Yes, yeah, realistic. But if I'm to paint in an abstract form, mm -hmm. I could take a few uh, or less days mm -hmm. in painting and completing it. Yeah. But when it's more realism, it mm -hmm. takes a time. bit more time. Yeah. They look so nice. <laughs> yeah. They look so <laughs> Thank real. Thank you. What's the procedure for someone to have a fully functional business in a foreign country? Oh yeah, any business, any legal business, you have to have a license. And that license, you have to apply for it. So, you could do it yourself, you go into the government portals, and I'll find all the details. Because like when you go to the ministry, mm -hmm. ministry offices, the ministry of labor, they will give you all the information. But people find it easy to use the consultancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, the consultancy firms. Because there are some documents that they that the consultant's firm has to develop for you, mm -hmm. which makes it more easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than you yourself drafting them, Everything. yeah, mm -hmm. drafting them. Like uh, I would give an example. Here in UAE, when you're doing a business, you have to have a local or a UAE national as the owner of the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the license. Oh. You understand. Mm -hmm. So. You are the owner of the business, yes, mm -hmm. but the other owner. person mm -hmm. has to be, uh, they say, the, like the owner. Like the owner, yeah. Okay. And then so you the under that person, yeah. So the person's oh. name is in the documents, yeah. Yeah, but you're running. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> there is a power of attorney that the person will draft, like that also is drafted by uh, the consultancy firm. Mm -hmm. They will draft with all that. Then that person, uh, the, the Emirati or the owner of the company, mm -hmm. will give you all the powers mm -hmm. to run the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that wow. is basically how it's done. Wow. Yeah. So they, like, I have mine here. Mm, yeah. So you try to go to. Yeah. We, in every in every every business, you have to hang it there because oh, so when municipality comes around, mm -hmm. they need to see. It. Does it cost a lot? Does, do you think it costs more than it would cost if you are doing it in Uganda? Absolutely, more. 
how many times more? Depending on the business like this, mm -hmm. I would say, because I don't know how much it would cost me in Uganda, mm -hmm. but like maybe even three or four times more. Yeah. It's really, yeah. it's really expensive. Rent, Rent is utility. the most, most expensive mm -hmm. uh, aspect of business here in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If it has to be expensive. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you are so interested, and you're in Abu Dhabi, or you think you'll come here and want to start a business, you cannot go through all the details. Yeah, yeah. So on top of you contacting him to buy this beautiful art, you can consult him with how to, on how to start a business yeah. and all those things. He yeah. will help you. I'm going to put... Do you want me to put... Do you have like a business number that I can put? Yeah, yeah we have a business number. And pages. Um, yeah, pages social media handles and yeah, so it's contacts, good. emails. Yeah. Okay. One, one question. Do you do customized ads? If I wanted you to draw me. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Wow. We don't oh, we don't display do them here because, yeah, because uh, they're, 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 they're private, they're customized yeah. and that is we, we before we display it even in our mm -hmm. social media pages mm -hmm. and handles, yeah, we need to ask them. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need to talk to somebody. Are you okay with it? But most people may not be okay with it. Yeah. 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 Like I can give you a photo of me and then yeah. draw it. Absolutely. Wow. Do that. Okay. What's your price range? What's the cheapest here? Yeah. And what's like the most expensive? Like you don't have to point, yeah. but just give them a price range. Uh, the cheapest would be around uh, 200 dirham. That is That's like the very cheap. Oh, like approximately 200 like dirham. Approximately 200 dirham. Like this? Yeah, like this one. Wow. Okay, you are I'm uh, currently in Abu Dhabi, that's United Arab Emirates, and I'm uh, at uh, Electra Street. Uh -huh. Just uh, it's it's a cook building next to ADCB head office. Uh -huh. That's that's the best location I could give you. When you get a taxi when you're in Abu Dhabi, you just tell them come to take me to Cook Building next to ADCB Electra. When you get to Cook Building. You come to level 7, 701, office 4, mm -hmm. you'll get us there. You see, I feel like like when, when someone like you does such things, like I don't know if, if you people that are actually inspired, but me I feel inspired. Yeah. Like like things can be done and yeah, like you, yeah. can, you can pursue your passion Absolutely. and take it to a different level. Yeah. Oh good. It's not hard guys, it's not, it's not really hard. Mm -hmm. Like if you really want something, you go for it. Yeah. Because sometimes we are held back because of our own fears. Mm -hmm. We are so scared to start up something because you think of what will people say when I try and fail? Mm -hmm. What will people think of me? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I don't have enough money, mm -hmm. I don't have this, I don't have that. The hardest bit of everything is starting. When you mm -hmm. sit down, decide that I want to do this, just mm -hmm. start with whatever is around you. Mm -hmm. He has a YouTube channel, I want to link it down below. You might see a bit of behind the scenes, a bit of what he's working on, what he's, what is ready for you to buy, yeah. and just follow for all the interesting content. I'm still taking up a lot. <laughs> I'll see you in another vlog. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>